Jaguar away. I got my uh, midlife crisis card about five years ago, a uh, convertible, or as my daughter Sally calls it, car with no lid. If you're looking for a convertible, we've got the top ones out there today. Yep, the hottest convertible closet. for the summer. The summer is not over yet. We've got your muscle car, the Ford Mustang, a Spider, and the Jaguar out there. 11 minutes before the top of the hour. Nothing says summer like driving with the top down, the wind yes. blowing through your hair. Some of the best convertibles money can buy are next. We're going to get your motor running this morning. Do you want to enjoy the last few weeks of summer? We've got the hottest new convertibles that are just begging you to put the top down and enjoy the wind in your hair. Joining me now is the car coach, Lauren Six. Good morning. Good morning. So we are in the 2016 Jaguar F-Type S. Right. Tell this, me about this it. This car is beautiful. Yeah. Now, you have to remember, we're talking about a car here that is starting about $68,000. It is my favorite color, Italian red. Uh -huh. And it is beautiful. <laughs> and it comes in a manual, as this one does, in the six, in the V6, but you supercharged V6 engine. Supercharged V6, yes. And the nice thing is you can get the V8. You even have a performance line. They start about $68,000. There's some really great investments okay. in this car. You cannot go wrong by purchasing this vehicle. It has an amazing exhaust note as well. All right, but there are some others we want to check out too. This spider is super cute. This is this more is my an size. Alfa Romeo spider. This is an Italian sports car that is reasonably priced. Comes in in the sixty thousand dollar range. It is carbon fiber. I have driven this car. I can tell you, it is a joy to drive. It has a really unique Alfa Romeo DNA. It has a unique transmission, as you can see. It's four buttons, so it's not what you'd expect. So it's an automatic and a manual on the paddle shift if you want. It is Italian through and. And if you want to take it to the racetrack, top speed of 160 miles an yeah, hour. This is not a tell you. And that one goes 171 miles an hour. Again, not to be put on the street on the track. Okay, now made in America. This is a good year. This is a Mustang. Uh, I, this is one of my favorite cars. I actually happen to own a couple of these. This is a Ford Mustang GT in ruby red. Ruby red. Yeah, it has a five There's liter. There's no place like home. Right, five liter GT engine, $41,800. This one's pretty well loaded, including the Shaker audio system with 12 speakers, so you can rock the tunes and have the top down. Absolutely. And it seats four comfortably. Yeah, and I, I guess you can make the speakers go in different places so the kids can listen to it a little bit they, louder. They're going to want it louder and back. Then we do, yeah. How much does this go for? $41,800, and of course you can get the non-GT, so you can get into convertibles at a very reasonable price. You can get them even lower price than this, but these are the ones that will have value down the road. A Mustang, an Alfa Romeo, and a Jaguar. Good resale value, huh? We'll have good resale All value. Right. If you want to collect them, good collectors. All right, well, let's go to the beach. You want uh, to? Yeah. All right, bye, guys. I'm still there. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to talk more about these fancy convertibles With these? after the show show. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow. The Jaguar, nice. the Spider, I the Mustang. I think the, I think the Mustang is Made my in favorite. America. It's my favorite. Uh, I think I like this one. Do you mind if I have to make it? You know what? I like the live truck. <laughs> See you right back there. See you have tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, Think, are there any of these that we can drive and Welcome in? to the After the Show Show. Lauren Fix, come on over here. Yeah. You can drive this year round. Hi, Lauren. Thank See you, you later. I mean, drive Take off the care. plaza. Thanks. You can drive this off the <laughs> plaza. You want to fire yeah, it up? Yeah, can we? I can fire it up, sure. There's a I really can cool fire one. it up. Sure. Rev her up. Yeah, let me now, show you. Who, who makes the Jaguar these days? This is owned by Tata. They own Land Rover as well. And Rutan Tata just got up, uh, put into the Automotive Hall of Fame. He saved this brand. This was owned by Ford. So I race a Ford Jaguar, but it's got the Ford power in it. Now, since the mid 2000s, this is now owned by a different manufacturer. And I can tell you, this car is pretty impressive. So, this is it, you could race this car. If it, you it's still bit, uh, built in Great Britain. Oh, yes, absolutely. But it's owned by a company from yeah. China? Or? No, India. Oh, okay. So and they, it's the same company that owns Land Rover? Yeah. Didn't they used to have a reputation that they would break a lot? Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, they've, they've oh, listen to that. Up. Yeah, listen to her. That's All a right. distinctive. I'd move. I would move. I would move. <laughs> This I don't know, a, all the fencing is up. I don't, don't want to have an issue this like we did last Will you show us? This is a phenomenal car and very, very reliable. And great crash test ratings, great safety ratings, great resale. Totally a different Jaguar. Yeah. Think E-Type. Okay. This is the same Let's stuff. Let's see how long it takes to put the top up. Is it? I. Is there a button? Yeah. Any idea how it goes? All right, let's see. Press the button. That thing should go. Ooh, this Watch. is cool. Ted, come over here. Here it goes. Very simple, very easy. But who wants to ride with the top up? 
That's it. What, I'm 15 not seconds? Down, man. Yeah, even in the winter, down. I okay, like put it to, down. to ride with the top down, well, windows down. open, sunroof right. down, doesn't right, matter what place you're in, just blast the heat. Well, you do. You put up the windows. Put and on you, a toboggan. Right, exactly. Make sure I put all this back where it was. Um, the nice thing about these tops on the car at this level, you're talking about a $68,000 car. This car starts at $68,100. You can get a V6 with it as well and a manual transmission. Or if you said, you know what, I really I want something that's a little different, then what I would say is this car's got insulation. You could drive this year round. It comes in all wheel drive. This is all wheel drive? All wheel drive. Oh, that's cool. So you could drive it year round. All right, let's see. Now, look the Elf is a little different story. I don't know if I'd drive that through the winter. You want a hint? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, the Alfa Romeo is a little different. This is a carbon fiber body. It's mid-engine, so the engine's in the back. Getting in it is not recommended in the dress and heels. Um, but You're wearing pants, you can do it. I can do it. I just wanted to show you, this is all carbon fiber. Think space shuttle. This is made of that same material. Leather interior. This is Russo red. Isn't that beautiful? It's it a real beautiful. Italian sports car. And I've been to Alfa, and I have to tell you. It's beautiful. You know, this is not a car for a family man. No, but getting in it, this is not a New York City car either, by the way. This is meant for going out and cruising or putting it on the track. It's a little complicated. It's very low, and cabs, you're lower than a cab. Yeah. So, but it is a fun car, and I promise you this car does have resale value. The launch edition, which is really hard to get, and they make limited amounts of what they call the Alfa Romeo Spider. It's a 4C. It's really hard to get, so if you want one, Find an Alfa Romeo dealer online because they go like quick. And they're about $63,000. The okay. most affordable of the three this cars is the Ford Mustang. Man. 50 years of Mustang. Yeah, I we can all get in. Yeah. Hey, Lauren, get in the front. I, I can get in the back. All right. Because I can make Anna sit in back. Let me see. Okay. Let me just move this up. There's a lever to get in back here. <laughs> okay, now we have the keys. I may have to sit up this way. There you go, because you you're a little tall. Let's this car, 50 see. years of Mustang. Scoot up a little bit. So my daughter's name is Shelby after oh, the no Shelby way. Mustang. We just came Are from the Shelby kidding? Convention. Yes. How do we do this? Let's see. There you go. Put the key in the ignition. It's an automatic, so you're okay. You should be able to start it. Let me see the key. It's an automatic. Touch the button. It's touch. It's touch, I think. It should be touch. Should right there. See the red button right there? Oh, here we go. Put your foot on the brake. Oh, that's cool. That's now right rev it a little bit. Give it a little bit of gas. That. That's your V8 engine. Isn't that fun? Could you yeah. imagine? I can't. Boy, we can, the three of us could have some fun. Let's go to the beach. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, this one's good. 41 8. This one's loaded. It's got the shaker audio system. This car has got performance style. This is rear wheel drive. Keep in mind, this is not a winter car unless you put winter tires on it if you live in the Northeast or the upper half of the, the world. Lauren Fix, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thank each. you. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And hey, Mustang's a very good collectible.